So this is Dave with OC Astronomy. I'm going to try to explain what's going on with the Celestron CGX and the uh, worm mesh adjustment. Um, so it's kind of unclear from the manual what the set screws are actually doing. So I thought I would try to explain. This is, this is a poorly drawn characteristic of it, uh, but it is, um, it's the best I could come up with. So there's two screws here these two ones that are just underneath the RA adjustment, or the, uh, the RA counter shaft. That's the, right here, that's the counterweight shaft. And then there's these two screws that are, that are underneath it. Um, what those two screws do, I think, is raise or lower the tilt of this carriage right here. Um, and that's important because if this is tightened down too much, then there can't be any adjustment at all. Um, then the two screws that they say to adjust in the manual are these two. One of them has the spring on it, and the other one is a stop motion screw. And I tried to draw that here where it's just, it just sits off of the surface. And what it does is it keeps, it keeps it from coming too close. The spring pushes it away. So they act counter to each other. The spring pulls it up, and this one keeps it at a limit of motion. Um, and that's so that it doesn't bounce, I guess, but it it only ha is supposed to have a very small amount of wiggle to it. There's two screws down here that lock the sled kind of in place, um, and I'm not sure exactly how those are tied in, but I, I know that in order to loosen this guy to get it to move, I had to loosen these two first before this would do anything. Once I got it to where this was happy and I was okay with it, I tightened these two back down and then my only movement was coming from these two screws right here. Actually, this one. So, the, I didn't draw the motor in there, but the motor is connected to the worm gear, or to the, to the worm drive shaft, and then to the worm gear on the mount. That's kind of what I was trying to represent here. That's a poorly drawn uh, worm right there. So, um, what you're trying to do is correct the spacing between this guy and this guy. You want the spacing to be such that it's tight, but that it has a little bit of room to ride without getting bound up. And my trouble was it was binding, and so instead of having backlash, I was actually so tight onto it that it didn't have any freedom of movement at all. Um, whenever I came to adjust this screw or to see if this had any play at all, it had zero play. It was stuck in place. So what I, what I did was um, loosen these two, adjusted this one to where I could at least get a little bit of range of motion, and then tighten those back, and then used this one to set my tension on, on, that, uh, on that spring. As you can see, if you, if you crank this down too much, the spring will just become compressed, and there'll be no range of motion there. Um, so you have to have a little bit of room. That's why you have to loosen it just a little bit to give it a little bit of play in that spring, and whenever you do, you can see that this, uh, the worm drive will, it'll be snug, uh, but you can still move it just a tiny bit. And that's all that it really needs to prevent it from binding. You want it to be as tight as you can though, so that it doesn't have a lot of slop in there. So anyway, that's what's going on. I, I hope that, that after seeing this poorly drawn uh, figure and then seeing what, I was, uh, what you can in the video, you can understand how this is working. Um, so good luck.